hello welcome back so today we can look how to pass our newly created field value to the invoice from the sale order so here you can see the sale this is our field reference and how to pass this field value to invoice so here invoice is already created so here you can see our field is not here because we have not added in the invoice in the same way like we created in the sale order how we created a new field in the sale order like the same way we need to create the field in the invoice also so we can check the model name here here you can see the model is account move so we can search where is this account bo in the add-ons account mo here you can see name equal to account mo okay this is the file and uh, the module is account you can create see the module is account so the first thing we need to add the dependency for that i am going to the manifest and here i am adding the account okay so the next thing we need to create a python file after that we need to create a view file so i am creating a new python file it's a model file and uh, i'm name account move the same way which we did in the sale order we can give account move as class so it's not a name it's we are inheriting that so we can give inherit and the model is account move we don't need the description so our field is reference we can use the same thing i am copying this and i am pasting here so we have added the reference field in the account move okay so we need to import this file so i am creating a copy of that i am importing the account move okay so the python inheritance part is over we have created the field so the next thing is view for that i am creating a new file udo view file and i am giving account move uh, extent in the same way i am adding this file in the manifest also here i'm changing this to account move extended okay so what we need to do next we need to find the external id so this is the external id account view move form i am copying this and uh, before that i need the code the same form we can use for this also i'm copying this and i'm pasting here here we need to change some values like it's not a sale order form it's an account move form so i'm changing as per that so here the model is account move not the sale order so i am changing that also account dot move and the reference reference will be the external id so from the front end i am copying this external id and i am pasting here so the next thing we need to give the x path for that where we need to do in the same way we can give under the customer so here also 
you can see the name is partner underscore id so this is correct yeah we can restart the odoo and the next thing we need to upgrade see yeah i'm upgrading this <coughs> Here there is one error. Sale extended view account more extended. File not found error. I can check. Account underscore more extend. This is extend. Okay. So I am again restarting and uh, upgrading. Okay, it is upgraded successfully. So we can check. I am opening the sale order. I am going to the invoices. Yes, here you can see our field. The next thing is how we can pass the value. Suppose if we have here 1, 2, 3, 4. <coughs> how we will get this value in the invoice so you can see after confirming the sale order we are creating the invoice that time we are just creating so we are not giving any value it's picking the value from the sale order itself so we can first create a sale order customer i'm selecting i'm selecting any product and I am giving reference. I am saving. Confirming the sale order. And uh, here you can see the button create invoice. <coughs> so this is here from here we are creating the invoice. So what we need to check we need to go by the go by each functionality how the invoices is created so for that we can check this create invoice object and method here you can see the method create underscore invoices so when i click this button this function is scrolling like create underscore invoices so we can search that how it will work so i'm searching create underscore invoices here you can see many files we need sale okay i'm opening this here you can see it the, it create the invoices associated to the sale order so here we can check what is happening how value is fetching and uh, here you can see the invoice valves equal to order dot prepare invoice so i am going to the prepare invoice function okay this is a prepare invoice function and here you can see what this function is doing prepare the dict of values to create the new invoices for a sales order okay so from here the values are fetching like you can see every values are fetching in this function so what we have to do we need to inherit this function for that i can copy this function and i am going to the our sale order and i am pasting this function so i pasted this function and the next thing we need to call the super why we need to call the super that i can tell you so here you can see this is the base function so if we want to modify the base function which means we need to we are allowing to do the base functionality like we need all this base functionality plus our extra functionality that's it 
to run this base functionality we need to call the super like you can see super okay so this is the way to call the super super the class name and the function name okay we have called the super and we can see or we can check there is any other super methods are called in the add-ons okay here you can see many supers are called okay here you can see there is one already there is one inheritance so we can use the same thing so we have written this and i am adding my condition so we can check what is happening in the super i am adding a print statement and i am printing the invoice vals so the next thing i am restarting our udo and clicking this button here you can see some error before that we can check our super is printed so it's a dictionary so what we have to do we just need to update our values to the dictionary how we can do that we can check if there is any existing system is used this okay i'm again searching here there are multiple inheritance term append was well super okay we can see this will work or not like this we can add so i'm adding like this invoice wells of reference we need to give the same field in the invoice like what is the field name which is reference so i am giving the same here so i am giving as self dot reference why i called self self means our current model which is sale order so again i am returning the invoice vans we can check this will work or not i am restarting the udo and again i am going to the sale order so now i try to create the invoice it is created we can check our values is updated or not here it's not updated here also it's not stay so we can try to create a new quotation customer adding a product i'm adding a reference my ref i'm saving this okay so the reference field is already there in the sale order we can we need to change the field name to something else so i am giving new reference we need to change in the account move also and in the views also so again i'm restarting and 
we need to upgrade the app i'm going to the app and i'm typing my app name okay upgrade which is upgraded and i'm going to the sales quotation i'm editing now we can check which is storing or not save okay now it's visible so i'm confirming this and uh, creating invoice create invoice here you can see the invoice is created okay it's not stored uh, we can check the code again here we are inheriting the function okay this is the issue we are assigning the reference field we need to assign the new reference field again i am restarting the udo and going to the udo so here i am cancelling the invoice and i am deleting this okay again we can create as uh, invoice from the sale order i am clicking the same button here you can see the invoice is created okay now our value is visible in the invoice so this is the sale order reference our new field here we give the value as my ref in the invoice also you can see the same value so this is how we are passing the new field value to the invoice from the sale order for that i will explain you again what we did first we created a new field in the sale order and we created a view for that like we inherited the current view and we have added our new field in the current view the same way we have added the new field in the account move like uh, which means invoice also for and uh, we added the field in the xml also xml means the front end part we inherited the front end part and we have added the new field the next thing we did is we have added a function like prepare invoice so this is a base function this is is this is calling uh, while clicking that prepare invoice or create invoice button this function is calling so in this function you can see they have description like uh, create the invoice associated to the so so in this function they are fetching the values that's why we have inherited this function and we have added our new value as like this first we have called the super which means the existing functionality will work first the next thing we have added our custom functionality or extra functionality as uh, like we added the new field here in the dictionary like we updated the dictionary with our new field mm -hmm. so this is the way to pass a field value from sale order to invoice so thank you